Hey guys, Judith with the Four Corners from Jay sharing little adventures from my corner of the world, whether it's baking or cooking, DIY crafts, sewing, tailoring, or prayer hankies and Bible chit chat. Right now I have a DIY. It is, it's actually melted. It's coconut oil and tea tree oil. I mixed it in this jar. I didn't remove the label. I tried. It didn't work out. But um, it's just a yeast jar. I chose this jar. I saved it from when it became empty because it's glass. And dark and a lot of the essential oil recipes they ask for the dark glass jars but I made it I found out there's so many different um, of course everyone knows there's 101 uses for coconut oil 101 uses for tea tree oil and I do use them both in just everyday occasions here and there but I tried it as a deodorant today I was very nervous that it would not go well I was very nervous that I would just terrible things that happened but it went well last night after the shower I applied some and of course I wake up nothing really special going on so I applied some more went to work and I work hard um, some of you may know I have a part-time job with a family-owned cleaning service so we do residential and commercial and there's a lot of work and then I'm in Texas so there's a lot of Sun there's a lot of sweating after work, I ran a few errands and I'm kind of like testing, you know, that casual and I notice there, there's, I have a smell, but it's not overwhelming. It's like I have to search it out, I have to seek it out. And I came home and I did kind of like a little washing machine dance around my husband. I was like, hey, does it smell? Do you notice? Does it smell? He's like, no, you don't smell. But of course he's, he's that husband. So. I go to my daughter and I like rustle her to smell my armpit and she said she didn't smell anything but she said she didn't want to so she wasn't being a friendly participant in this in this testing honestly again I feel like there is an armpit smell but it's just faint I think it works I went and I reapplied and I feel very confident um, it's Texas, so I still feel sweaty, but the thing about deodorants, just real quick, I do have an alternative. This is what I use every day. It's this mineral crystal. It has aloe in it. This brand I love. I tried another brand, didn't really work out, but this is really great. So the thing about deodorants is the antiperspirants have aluminum, and so when you're putting aluminum on your skin, it gets absorbed in, through your skin, blood, so on and so forth, and that's not good for you. I'm you know just one of those things that I learned and I've throughout the years tried different things I did try the baking soda and coconut oil that did not work I got a chemical burn from the baking soda so I need to learn how to be careful with baking soda a lot of people love it a lot of people there's actually I don't know if you've come across this but there's those those websites that they'll they'll warn against the burning sensation and they're saying that it's your body acclimating no, it's just a freaking chemical burn. Like, stop using it or minimize the baking soda, reduce whatever amount it's telling you to use. So, I made this coconut oil, tea tree oil, purposefully because I thought it would be good for my skin. I thought I can apply it to these, like, not happy places on my face. And I think it works. I think those places have healed faster. Uh, my daughter had a rash, put it on there, slap that on, and I guess it's healing faster. I don't really know, like, rash healing timelines, if that helps. I'm guessing it did. I already have faith in coconut oil and tea tree oil, so I'm, I'm kind of biased here. So anyways, I wanted to share with you my little experience with my, this most recent DIY deodorant. Again, I've tried it in the past, didn't work out. This, I'm going to keep around and just slather on everything. This recipe, um, actually I don't have a recipe. I just kind of threw coconut oil and tea tree oil in the jar and mix it around. I'm sure you can go online and find all sorts of different um, measurements. But I did learn the coconut oil and tea tree oil. Some people have used that, that combination for a hand sanitizer. So I tested it on the skin. It does well, I think, doing well on the skin. I've tested it, tried it as deodorant today. I think I like it. I don't know. I really like my other deodorant, but maybe when it's done, because I have a few, 
I have quite a bit in here. I'll use that or alternate. So what else? Um, the hand sanitizer. I don't know how to test that. Like, I I believe I can go get a petri dish and slap my hand on and see if it grows stuff. But like, I'm not gonna do that. Um, I'm just gonna stick to. I actually made hand sanitizer. It's just the aloe vera rubbing alcohol, and I think it works well. I don't know. Again, I'm not testing it. I don't take my word for it. But I just want to share my experience. I think. I think this little jar does wonders as deodorant. Uh, I'm excited about this new, like, obvious. You know those things that are so obvious? Why didn't I think of that forever ago? That's what this is. Why didn't... Why didn't y'all tell me sooner? So anyways, thank you guys for sharing. I don't know. You guys try it. Let me know what happens. Let me know if you have a similar experience, a better experience. Oh, you can also add... Um, the fragrances, the fragrance essential oils, and you can smell pretty, I don't know what you want to smell like, but you can try and bottle that up and smell like that. I don't really like fragrances. Um, I like smelling good. <laughs> I just, I don't know, I think I'm so nervous about the chemical burn part that, like, I'm not going back. Um, the, I know with the anti, the hand sanitizer, I don't like fragrances in those. I do not like fragrances in those, like those sparkling berries and whatnot that they have. When I'm using my hands, it's probably eating. <laughs> so I want to smell the food. I don't want to smell this like winter time, whatever. I want to smell that food and just really, I'm a foodie. So this matters. But again, you're welcome to add whatever smell you want. Um, let me know how that goes. If not, I mean, this is kind of cool too. I had to buy this. I had to pay for this. So I'm not getting like any special anything for that. I'm just, it's a helpful tip. Helpful DIYs. All right. Thank you guys. Bye.